Hey everybody, today I really wanted to make a roast, but I don't have everything that I need for the roast that I usually make, and that's the kind I wanted, so we're going to improvise. So, um, I guess I'll just bring you on down and we'll get started. So, the first thing is I didn't have a roast, but I had bought this carne piccata boneless beef and this is used in mexican cooking i believe and it was marked down to 772 and i got this a while back it's been in the freezer but i'm going to uh, put this in the crock pot And I think it will be uh, very good. So that's in. And now I'm going to put my vegetables in. But let me tell you first, I forgot. You know, I always use the liners. And a lady told me uh, in the messages that there had been some research or something and it was found out that those liners can cause cancer. So I have uh, decided not to use liners anymore and uh, just go with the regular crock. So next I'm gonna add some celery and I cut the pieces about that big. I've cut them a little smaller than I usually do because um, I'm wanting to eat this early afternoon, and Randy and I talked, and uh, the way he eats, we feel like the I cook two small meals. I had been breakfast and lunch, and then a big supper, but we decided that the way he would like to eat is his breakfast, and then for lunch or early afternoon, uh, have his big meal, and then for supper, he'd like a sandwich or, you know, like um, BLTs or turkey sandwich or just something along those lines. So that's what we're going to do. And I think I like doing that too. So anyway, like I was saying, I put in the celery. And in here, I cut up two big onions because we really like onions. And I usually leave those in big chunks, but I've cut them down to about like that. And I'll just sprinkle some of those in. And then the potatoes, I've cut them. I wet the skin on, and I cut them about that size so they quick that, cook faster. And I'm just going to dump all that in. And as you know, broth will happen from the meat and I always use garlic salt and ketchup as my um, liquid for this. One time I had to use ketchup for some reason because I was out of whatever I used at the time. I think to tomato juice and uh, the ketchup tasted so good and rich that that's what we've always used. So I know we have ketchup here, I just can't find it. So what we're gonna use instead is a can of four cheese spaghetti sauce. And I think that will be very good. I'm gonna put just a little water to get the bottom out. And it's got a lot of seasonings in it, so I don't have to worry too much about seasoning this, except I do want to put some of my uh, garlic I made. I tell you, this is the best stuff. I put it in everything. I really, really love it, as I've said about a hundred times, in mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna get 
a nice big scoop of it and put it in. And after it cooks a while, I'll stir everything and um, all that. But for now, this is it for the roast. And I'm going to put it on high. And it, because the meat is um, that little tiny cut up meat and all, it shouldn't take but several hours for everything to be cooked and tender. So when it's done, I'll come back and I'll show you the finished roast. The roast has finished cooking and it smells real good. And I think the um, couple things we had to find substitutions for have worked out real good. And um, I haven't, I've been tempted to taste it, but I haven't. But we'll go ahead and have a taste of it. And I made some of these Walmart biscuits. If I can get it picked up. And these are not the best biscuits in the world, but I had bought like a 20 pack of them. So we'll go ahead and eat them until they're gone, and then I won't buy those again. So here is the roast. And I think it turned out real well. I stirred it several times while it was cooking. I'll put some in a bowl. It's got a, a real nice aroma. And usually I put carrots in this, but I didn't have any. So that's what it looks like. And I forgot to take out a bite that wouldn't be so hot. And I usually eat this with a spoon, not a fork. So you'll have to bear with me for a moment. It's pretty hot. It's got a real good taste. I do not taste the spaghetti taste in it. I taste like a tomato we base to it. It does need salt and pepper. And I think next time I would add more garlic. But otherwise, it's very tender. Um, the broth seems thick enough, like if you wanted to put it over a biscuit, which is what I'm going to do. And there's not much more I would do to it than that. It's just more garlic as I'm cooking it and then salt and pepper. So I appreciate you watching. I hope that you learned something today. And um, as I usually try to tell you, do something good for yourself. You deserve it and do something good for someone else because they deserve it. And with that, I hope you have a wonderful evening, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.